Ugh. This is super creepy. This is really, really creepy. Hello everyone, my name is Sinistic and we are here with Everlasting Summer. Yeah, where we left off, Semyon kind of hid in the bushes and now we have to see some Alyssa Uyana boobage and I feel very dirty on the inside and I don't know if I want to feel, continue to feel that feeling. Oh gosh, I guess we gotta continue, alright. HIT ON YOU BRO! What if somebody sees us? That's the same thought that I had! Wow! I guess we do think very similarly. WHAT?! Is there anything- Oh, ha, huh, ha. Huh. You're funny, Alyssa. Insulting a girl's chest while otherwise ensuring that no one is here? Oh, friendship. It's a double-edged sword. What is- there? Is there anything to say? She grinned. Okay, just be quick. Oh my god. Oh god, what if we see some boobs? Oh no- Oh, wow. Wow, look at that triangle. Jesus. <laughs> I don't see any nipples, so we're good. It was true that there wasn't much to look at, but even so, I stared at the girls narrowly. It was a pity that they were standing with their backs to me. Oh, come on, Semyon. Don't let your teenager all hormone- What? No, you're not even a teenager. You're 18, right? You're like 18, 19, 20? Something like that. It's not that- It's not that erotic. A minute later, Alyssa managed to wash off all the paint. I'm done! Thanks! You're welcome! Alyssa replied lazily. Listen, let me try on yours. Oh god, are they switching bras? Oh my, I was about to say, are they switching boobs? But then I realized that that's not possible. You can't just take your boob off and give it to someone else. That's not real. She pointed at Alyssa's bra. It won't fit you for sure. Oh my gosh. Alyssa. Uh, I mean, you do have some boobage action. But like, do people, I'm pretty sure people don't do this, right? They don't switch each other's bras. Try it on anyway. Oh gosh, they're test you're testing the measure about a friendship right now, Uliana. But out here! There's nobody here, right? Ooh, ooh, got a double-edged sword back. You're the one who assured me, right? Let's so we can both take our bras and you know see what it looks like. We all looked at my way. Oh! Oh! Oh she looked at us! Oh god! We're fine now! We've been we we've been found out! We've been duped! Oh gosh, or we've not swindled, we've been found out! We gotta run! Oh gosh. Oh man, does anyone realize that Uliana's hair kind of looks like the edge of a curtain? Like a library- not library curtain, like, you know when you go in the living room and then you have those little, like, rope handles? Yeah, that kind of looks like Uliana's hair right now. Sorry! Anyway, Uliana looked my way and smiled archly. I was absolutely sure she couldn't see me in these bushes, but... ENOUGH WITH THE NONSENSE! Uliana wasn't listening to her anymore and grabbed Alyssa's bra and dexterous move instead. Oh, gosh. Wait, so did she just, like, snap her bra? Like, did she just, like, pull it off, like, fairy tale style? Well, in fairy tale, they don't pull off bras, but as you know, in fairy tale, they gave a lot of fan service. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a shonen anime made by Hiromashima. Pretty fan service y, but it's a, still pretty good at manga. Manga anime. Anyway, now I had to confess I had something to look at. Oh no! Oh god! Do I need to bring out the sensor bars? And. wow! Wow, Soviet Games, I'm pretty impressed by the amount of non boobage that's happening here, but still, like, enough to be considered boob. Alrighty then. Wow. Alyssa's bra kinda looks extremely flat. Like, that's like the flash bra I've ever seen. Okay, anyway. Anyway! Wow! Okay, fan service! I watched the two girls chase one another around the wash dance with bated breath. Alyssa covered her breasts with her hands so I could barely see anything at all. Uh, yeah, let's not look at our skin ship in the open. I leaned forward and stumbled over a stone falling out of the bush. Oh, Sevian! Oh, Sevian! No! No! Now they're gonna... Oh, gosh, we're gonna have more high drinks with them and it's gonna be awkward. Oh, dear lord. Oh, no! Oh, I can't read it. Listen, Uliana stood frozen staring at me. Try to cover my nudity with a guilty face. The tableau lasted for a second and Alyssa took her shirt and somehow put it on an instant. You! You! You know what? Fuck that. I was here first and you guys came here. I don't even know why we hit- Oh yeah, we were naked, huh? Huh. I don't know. I think we should just stood our ground. But then again, that's bygones. We got bygones. So what to do now? Well, I have a feeling Alyssa's gonna chase us down to the heavens. And then once I get there, it'll be okay. But, you know, her face was gone from- Her face gone from red to purple. I didn't know people could blush purple. Is that a thing? It looked like she was going to explode in a nuclear blast in a second. 
The only thing I wanted was to disintegrate its atoms and go as far away from the epicentry as possible. He was sitting there the whole time! Oh fuck you, Uliana! You didn't have to like show me out like that. She did she did notice me then. You! You! Oh my gosh. I just wanna Like I wanted to run at me and just be like, boom, send me on force field. But you know that's not this type that's not the type of visual novel we're playing. And I, well, I accidentally, if you know what I mean. <laughs> First of all, you don't say if you know what I mean to a person who just showed your body. That's like a no-go. Like, you don't go up to someone and say, um, I saw your body, if you know what I mean. Uh, hey, hoo hoo hoo. Yeah, no, that's not a thing. Well, she looks pretty mad at us. Well, we are gonna run, and let's go. Hijinks. Oh, oops. Oh, and I'm the, I forgot. I make it too! Ah, Semyon fan service! Alright, Semyon, we gotta run. Wow, holy crap. Semyon, you are really built. Like, dude! You have, like, no fat on your stomach at all. If you worked really hard, you could probably get, like, a washboard ab. Oh my gosh. Guys, are you seeing this right now? Like, look at his ab sculpture all right here. Like, look at all that meat! Sorry. But anyway, covering my butt with one hand and holding my clothes in the other, I ran into the woods. Oh my gosh! You know, if we were in Alyssa and Ileana's situation, we could imagine that Semi was in the bushes, like, just jacking off to us being naked. Oh gosh, now I realize that does sound a little bit horrible. It seemed the best solution to me at the time, as showing up naked in the middle of camp accompanied by two screaming girls wasn't a good idea! Oh, really? <laughs> I ran without looking back. I never came back. I saw the sunset, and then I left to go into it. Anyway. Anyway, uh, stop for a few minutes, catch my breath. Well, now we're naked in the woods. You know, Slender's gonna come over and be like, Oh gosh, man, you need some clothes on. But at least we get to look at the woods, right? Into the woods! Into the woods! It seemed that there was no pursuit. So I managed to save myself. Uh, I mean, wait till Shurik gets behind you. Oh. But at the cost of laceration, scratching and bleeding feet, I had no time to put on my boots. I sat on a tree stump and sighed. Huh, <sighs> when am I gonna find the sword of Excalibur? Alright, time to go back out in the world. Sometime later, having dressed and ready, I left the forest. I needed to decide what to do next. Oh my gosh, I forgot what we were gonna do. Oh yeah, we need to go talk to Lena. I think we should probably do that. Oh, and my feet are hurting, so I go straight to the infirmary. We should do that too! But on the other hand, my stomach was gonna go it wasn't going to wait either. Maybe I should accept Electronics' invitation? Or head to the canteen and hope of finding something left to eat there. Oh, give me the choices! Give me, give, give it, give it to me! Alright, let me do some saving here. I'm gonna save you some time. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Alright, um, the clubhouse. Yeah, no, we're not going there. Kitchen, yeah, no. Can I go back into the forest? Nope, that's not an option. Let's go to the infirmary, because I feel like it's a little bit more important than gain food. We gotta make sure we don't get any infections. I always took out, I always took good care of my health, and even better care at times when something starts to hurt badly. Like my feet, which are bleeding from side to side. As I'm walking down, there's gonna be a, a huge blood trail of blood just straying from my feet. I can imagine it now. Alright. Just like go up to the hospital, not the hospital, go up to the infirmary and be like, I got red paint all over my feet, can you help me get it off? Oh, is that red paint? Oh god, it's blood! Or something like that, you know. But right in the front door, I stopped as if some mysterious force was holding me. Wait, what? I had absolutely no desire to face the camp nurse without any urgent need. But on the other hand, I did. I almost did a great deed yesterday in defending the infirmary. Yeah, I did a fucking good job! Do you know how many people I healed? So in some sense, she owed me. I took, her, I took heart and opened the door. Um, nurse lady, I have blood on my foot. Hi. Bye, dear. Hello. I'm sorry that I was so late. Yesterday. What, what do you mean you were late yesterday? You didn't even show up at all! It wasn't a problem at all. Semyon, you, you, you know you want to yell her out. Why have you come? Are you sick? Um, actually, no. I think there's a bacteria getting into my feet about right now. Oh! She smiled slightly. Well, um... Oh, oops. That's the wrong voice. I got my feet a bit. You got a bit. What? Woman, just look at my feet! I don't even have my boots on! Just look at them! My feet. I gave a stupid answer. Okay. Show me! I sat on the couch and took off my boots. How did you- Oh, how did you manage that? Oh, I better keep silent about what happened near the washstand. Well, I- 
Okay, never. You didn't even get. Okay, I would have been. I would like the scenario to go better where you talk. You talk to me, and then I'll give you a line answer. And then you could be like, "Oh, send me in hijinks." But I mean, I guess you want to avoid that scenario. All right, Viola. Wait a second. She rummaged in the drawer and took out a big red pill with a cross-shaped notch from the vial. A b what? Have you- I've never heard of a pill that has just a cross on it. Does that mean, like, if you give it to people, they become a Christian or something? And what is that for? I was disturbed by the size of the pill and its strange shape. They are broken in halves, not usually in the quarters. Oh, okay, I'm getting the Im I'm trying to get an image here. So there's, like, multiple pills that are- that have a cross on them? This is to make the amputation of your legs on- OH! 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 WHAT?! WHOA! BITCH, GET OFF! Wait, what? W wait, 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 I'm confused. You said you were gonna cut my feet off, and now your boobs just got bigger? Or, she, they probably didn't get bigger, she probably just leaned down. But at the same time, they look really weird. But anyway, no, 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 woman! Woman! Whoa, 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 whoa. I am not in the stage of my adolescent years where I can start looking at people and doing weird things with them. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm about. Love comes first, and I don't love you. Mm-mm. Nothing. Don't be afraid. I'm afraid of how big your boobs are. Like, I feel like your boobs contain, like, a bunch of bombs inside, and then you can take them off any minute. Like, oh, I want to throw a grenade? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not how you take off a boob, but, like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw my boob at you, and then, boom, explode. Lard everywhere. Pioneer, you'll take it and be alright. I mean, I have a bad feeling. I wanted to go to the infirmary to get better, not to get assaulted. And this pill... Why does it look like that? That's for patients who refuse to take medicine periodically. Well, but you don't need- I don't need to take medicine, my feet are just bleeding! Fix my feet! We screwed into them with a screwdriver then. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have came to the infirmary. Damn it! Damn it, Semyon! Why aren't we more paranoid? Why am I not more paranoid? Ah! Now it's time to doubt every single woman that I meet. I didn't dare to ask where they were being screwed and actually- Oh. Oh, okay. And now trying to bear it a bit. I would trust you more, but you're acting too sexual to be a doctor. She took a big pack of cotton wool, wrapped a bud around it, and applied it plenty oh, and applied plenty of iodine to it. I braced myself for the torments of hell. And I moaned quietly. My trust in this method of disinfection was much higher than the odd pill, so I had to withstand the burning. Oh Oh, so we didn't actually take the pill? Oh thank god. I don't I don't have good feelings about pills. That's just not the road I take. I this isn't the Matrix right now. <sighs> now it's done. I put my boots on and tried to walk. My feet were still hurting, but the sharp pain was gone. Well that's good. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, thanks for not drugging me. Drop in any time. Whoa. Whoa. Pi Okay. <laughs> I get it. Character trait. Drop in any time. Pioneer. <sighs> Oh, oh. I said goodbye and left the infirmary. Ooh, thank god. My health problem was solved! It's the right time to eat now. Yay, I'm perfect. The day is just starting and I've gone through so many things already. Well, I mean, two things at most. But I did it now, having a legitimate grounds to fill myself up. Today, I wasn't the last one, so I could choose a free table. Lunch included pea soup and mashed potatoes with fish. Huh, doesn't sound that bad. It was a major disappointment to me as I don't eat any fish of form, and hence, will get fewer calories than usual. Wait, you don't eat fish? Why not? Fish is amazing! Like, that's so- it's so good! Soon Slavia and Lena came to my table. Oh, thank god. The only two sane people that I like to talk to here. Uh, besides Olga, I suppose. Uh, oh no. Can we? She smiled nicely. Eh. Yeah, sure. I stood up and pulled out a chair for her. Ooh, I'm so gentleman-like. Wait, why did I pull out, out one for- Can I pull out one for Sla- Not Slavia, for Lena? Please. I was in an excellent mood at the moment. Yes. Enjoy your meal. Saying that, Lena began to stare at me and continued for some time. After realizing how odd she looked, she switched to her plate. You do. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's some more weird hijinks with Lena right now. Hmm. Do you have any plans today, Samyon? Nope. I gave her an honest answer, and indeed I had no plans. Except for searching for answers, but it was more like a global goal. I mean, to be honest, Semi has not been doing a good job at all for looking for answers, and I don't know why. We haven't been able to find out anything. Just more hijinks and Sovenok. 
Do you want to take a boat ride to the island with us? <gasps> oh, what island? What island is it? The island. Well, I think I've seen it from the pier. For right. Olga de Benitreva asked us to gather some strawberries. So we have to go to the island? Oh, then again, this is the old pioneer days. There are a lot of strawberries in there, and they look so delicious. Oh, they're so delicious. I can imagine the taste without even eating it, just by the look on Slavia's face. Um, I don't know, she's just kind of smiling. I would imagine she would just be, like, drooling and a long sensation, but... Strawberries, you, 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 And what are those for? I don't know, but it's indeed a great idea. Wait, what do you mean you don't know what strawberries are for? We eat them! Well, indeed it is. Moreover, I hadn't been to the island yet. Yeah, sure. Wait, no, tell me what this island is called! I don't know what this island is called! Within minutes, we were already standing at the pier. Well, here's the boat. Well, I mean, rock the ship, am I right? I'll go fetch the paddles now. Fetch the paddles? Oh, wait, oh. Are we like... Is this like one of those small boats? I love- I was love face to face with Lena. Do you like strawberries? Hmm? Well, not really. What? What? Strawberries are like my favorite fruit! Why not? But they're tasty- What? What? <laughs> Wait, so you don't like strawberries, but you think they're tasty? Doesn't that- isn't that counterintuitive? That's like saying, I like bananas, but they're not really that good. Lena smiled. Alright, whatever, Lena. I see. I didn't know what to say next, so how to continue the conversation. Well, ask her why she was being so batshit weird yesterday. If Slava didn't come back, we could probably sit here till evening without saying a word. Here you, here you go. She handed me a pair of hefty paddles. Yeah, thanks. Alright. Oh, hey! Lena looks very awkward, and I don't know why that is. We got into the boat, I untied it and pushed it off to the shore and tried to start paddling. And where exactly are we headed to, ladies? Right there! She pointed her finger at the island. That island is named the closest one. What? <laughs> That's a silly name. I can make a joke about that, but I feel like it would just be kind of lame. But I don't care, I'll do it anyway! Wow, is, this, is it called the farthest one? Why is it called the closest one? Is it the closest one to sexual innuendos? Alright. I wonder what captain gave it such an original name. I really hope that's sarcasm, Semyon. Well, the island is indeed close to the shore. Yeah, but that's like the most unoriginal name. That's like saying... That's like getting a cow plushie and naming it cow. Which I have, but still, still, it's a good example. Aye aye, captain. If I only knew I was waiting for me... If o Oh, if only I would known what was waiting for me ahead. Wait, are you like a narrator right now? Or do you just want to say that just to be dramatic for me? So, I mean, you don't need to be dramatic for me. I'm experiencing. I'm ex or no, no, no. Everyone here is experiencing this the same time as you, or maybe not the same time, but you know, similar time. I wasn't exper. I wasn't an experienced oarsman. I'd rowed a boat just once or twice in my life. It was less than half a mile to the island, but we were making our way in the zigzag thanks to my skulls. Wow, I'm so proud that you know how to ride a boat, Semyon. By approximately the middle of the trip, my arms hurt so badly that I dropped to the paddles and got some rest. Well, aren't there any strawberries anywhere else? That is also a good point. Why do we need to go to this one island just to get a strawberry? Or strawberries. I mean, it wouldn't matter if it was just one strawberry or multiple strawberries, but still, it kind of seems silly. Even if it is the closest one island. I mean, a more accessible place. I mean, I don't- do they have marketplaces back here in the, in the Pioneer camps? But the tastiest ones grew there. Really? Okay, whatever, woman. You go look for your adventure and I'll be the sidekick. I'll be the Bilbo Baggins to, you know, the Seven Dwarves. Is it hard for you to row alone? Yes! It is very hard. Lena, unlike Slavia, understood everything right away. Ow. It's nothing. Anyway, I couldn't get let a fragile girl help help me. What? Why not? <laughs> well, okay, fine, fine. Let's be manly and hold on to the oar. Alright, alright, Semyon, I'll follow your lead. The rest of the way I spent concentrating on staying alive while getting to the island. Slavia and Lena discussed something, but I wasn't listening. That was too much for me. Wait, what? Oh, I guess it was too much to handle, I suppose. At last, we arrived. Ooh, wow. This island is the closest one. I mean, because there's the pier, then there's the island, and there's Pier Island. Oh my gosh. Hopefully this isn't some scary attraction with, like, Disney, like Disneyland, I mean. 
It seems so far that I felt like first person on the moon watching the Earth rise. Wow, that's an interesting way to start off something. 